Hey, how's it going YouTube? It's iPhone time. Today I wanted to do a quick video for you guys just as a courtesy for all you unlockers and jailbreakers out there. Apple just released the new iOS version 6.1.3, which unfortunately for you jailbreakers, it does patch the exploits necessary for the evasion tool to work. So unfortunately, uh, if you update and you like your jailbreak, you will lose it. So don't do it. Don't update to 6.1.3 if you enjoy your jailbreak. Now as far as you unlockers go. If you're unlocked with third party methods such as the GPP SIM, I've got a GPP SIM in this iPhone 4S and this is updated to 6.1.3 and as you can see it is unlocked. Now this is a GSM or AT&T iPhone 4S. The reason I use this is because the neater team software required to unlock the CDMA iPhone 4S has not yet been updated to be compatible with 6.1.3. However, like with all of the other updates that we've had so far, it usually takes about 12 to 24 hours for them to update their software so it will be compatible. Uh, so make sure that you check their website first before you update, but you should be safe. It does still crack the baseband, which has only changed to 3.4.03, .03, so they haven't done much to that. Um, now, as far as the other unlock methods go, like the RSIM, excuse me, the GPP for iPhone 5 for Sprint, this does require a jailbreak, so obviously this is not going to work because you do need to be jailbroken for it. So if you're using this currently or you want to use this on your iPhone 5, do not update to 6.1.3 because it will not work, at least in, until they come out with a new jailbreak. Uh, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. Uh, and then if you're using an RSIM 7, I've tried my RSIM 7 in this as well, and it does work, so I know that also cracks this baseband, but the RSIM 7 works best for the CDMA phones if it has the jailbreak and the two repository sources um, installed onto the phone. Um, so if you're using the RSIM 7 or you want to use the RSIM 7, I would say stay away from that. Stay on a jailbreakable version. Uh, but anyways, guys, there's my quick update for you guys. I hope that helps you out. If you do have any questions or comments for me, there is that uh, comment section down below. Feel free to go ahead and shoot me a comment or an email. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It does help me out a ton. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for all your support and thank you for watching today and have a great day.